What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Fallout 4. We leveled up a couple of times, and so I think I should probably jump on that somewhere. We got a free perception because we found the bobblehead that did that, which is pretty sweet. I don't think I'm going to do intense training or anything like that. Be aware, this is a blind playthrough for me. I've never touched this game ever. It came out like an hour ago. And so, obviously, I'm going to make some mistakes along the way. That requires agility, too. I assume, yeah, I was going to say, I think this probably goes pretty far down the chain. Knowledge of cutting-edge computer... Okay, so that's pretty cool. Shoot first, kill first with access to base level, and rank one gun mods. So it can be a gun nut. But that requires us to take all of these things down here that I don't necessarily... Oh, never mind. It looks like you can leapfrog them. Oh. Well, then there's all kinds of crazy stuff that we can go across with. No, I don't think I want to confirm the selection. No, thank you. I'll probably do that then. And so if we can go down here, it looks like you just kind of mouse over. It looks like intelligence allows us to use energy weapons and whatnot. And it looks like I lack any of the stuff required to get down on some of these. Action points regenerate faster. You're not stupid. You're just different. Randomly receive three times XP from any action. The lower your intelligence, the greater the chance. You can always have the mysterious stranger show up too if we really wanted to. Man. There's all kinds of goodies in here, aren't there? Wow, that goes on for days. Solar power. You can be like Superman and get electricity and HP and whatever the hell else from the sun. Attack dog. Your faithful canine companion can hold an enemy, giving you a greater chance to hit them. I think I'm probably going to take rank one gun mods then. Seems like a smart idea to be able to like upgrade my stuff and make them work a little bit better. I don't know. The mods seem really, really powerful. I mean, we only installed like one or two on what we have right now, and that brought it up by a considerable amount of damage. But we've got more important things to think about right now. We got a minigun. Let's go pick up the minigun and see what happens. We got somebody up here. I don't really think you want to do that, amigo. Woo! Yeah, chop him up. I feel like an Apache gunship right now. You can call me the gunship kin. You guys got a sniper? That's not fair. How come you guys get a sniper? I think my gun might be getting a little hot. I don't know if it overheats or not, but I feel like it might. What's up, pal? You think you're hiding behind that right there. I don't think you are, though. I'm about to chop this whole neighborhood down just to get at you. They gave me 500 rounds, a little bit more, a little bit less. Are you sure that's what you want to do, pal? I hate to tell you, but I have pretty overwhelming fire right now. Although it does appear to be very, very inaccurate. Kind of wildly inaccurate. It's okay, though. Oh, you got places to be. Maybe you should come up out that building then. Down there hiding. Just be like, me, 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 me. What are these shenanigans? I'm going to reload real quick while I wait on this guy. It's not because I c Man, he is dug in right there, ain't he? We're going to need a lucky. His name is Gristle. Is that because he's tough? He's hard to chew up. Oh, there he is. Right? Did he... Did he just suicide jump off the roof? <laughs> like, nope, I will not take a death by mining. I don't blame him. I've seen those live leak videos. He's shot by a gunship. You just explode all over the place. Like, that seems like it would be really, really briefly painful for just a second. Where is this asshole? You threw a grenade at me? Oh, bastard. My dog is on fire right now, and not in the super awesome hellhound sort of way. In the my dog is definitely on fire, and I need to seek veterinary help way. Bastard. Where is this? Oh, there. <laughs> All right. Apparently, she was on the roof. Apparently, she was on the... I wonder if dog meat can be killed. Historically, dog meat has been pretty tough to kill in all Fallouts ever. Like, I've seen dog meat take, like, five... I, it, I think in Fallout 2, I remember seeing him take on all kinds of death claws and stuff, and he'd still come out. Like, he wouldn't hurt him, but he'd still be fine and alive. Anybody else left? I don't see anything on my radar right now. Oh, no, there's one over there. We're almost out of rounds. Got that one. I 
We got like 150 bullets left, so we might have a small subset of oh shit, what is that? A death claw? No. Oh hell no. I'm not even sure I could take him with power armor. I don't mess with death claws. I wonder if it's one of the friendly ones though from Fallout. And Fallout you could I think it was Fallout 2, you could hang out with a death claw. He was like your friend. He was a death claw with an intelligence of like nine or something like that. And he could talk. He was kinda like the incredible Hulk once Banner gets it under control. Yeah, I think Conquer's been clear to hostiles. I mean, except for that one really, really, really big hostile. I don't know how I feel about this right now. I also don't feel like I can probably go through this door. I more than likely have to leave my armor right where it's at. How do I get out of the armor? Does it kick me out of the armor when I go inside? Because it was lit up a different color. Oh no, I'm in the power armor and I'm inside. Okay. So I can put the gun away like that. Oh, you hold down the E button. Okay. I'm going to jump out. I mean, we're almost out of... I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, the... Wait. I don't know if it's worth it to stay inside of the thing. I mean, it seems unlikely to me that they would give us power armor so early in the game. I mean, talk about topping out the skill sheet. Damn! Make the earthquake when I hit the ground. So we can repair our power armor pieces at a power armor station or replaced in the pit boy. Okay. Seems self-explanatory enough. I don't trust this death claw though. Something bad's about to happen out here. I'm gonna quick save real fast. They made the death claws a lot bigger and more dinosaur like. Oh no, he's actually. Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, I'm gonna strongly suggest that we run away right about now. Let me in, let me in, let me in. I hope it can't go through doors. Oh, if it could go through doors, we are so screwed. Hmm. We may still be so screwed. Oh, it changes our voice, too. That's pretty badass. Our voice gets modulated when we're inside the suit. I'm going to leave it over here because it's a little bit unwieldy. It's not that unwieldy. It's not as unwieldy as you would expect. But it's still kind of unwieldy. I'm going to jump out real fast. Oh, look at that. We came with our own oxygen tank. Just in case we like breathing. Just in case. Yes, yes, no more British occupation. That's fine. Although I'm going to mention here, technically it wasn't like a... Well, never mind. We're not going to get into it right now. Let's keep going here. Oh, I kept the minigun? That seems like it might be bug considering I couldn't... Wait, what? How do I still have a minigun? It weighs 27 pounds, so I figure we should probably ditch it for now. Where'd it go? Oh, it fell down there. I should probably bring this with me. Hold on. There we go. I'm going to carry it around with me. I'll probably leave it upstairs with the survivors. Perfecto. Oh, look at that. We can run while levitating. Our mental skills are not to be underestimated. I can levitate things with my mind. That's how you know I'm the hero. That's how you know I'm the hero of the story. Can't nobody else do that. Go ahead. Show me your mind powers. I bet you don't have any. There. I'll leave that right there. Sturgis. So, what do we do about this death claw that appears to be immune to all forms of damage? Hey there. Through the back room and up to the roof. I'll hold them off from here. Go. But what about the death claw? Sturgis may be big. But he ain't much good in the fight. I need you to do this. Dude, there's a death claw down there. Are you kidding me right now? I do not feel solid about this. This is a really, really bad idea. Let me use a I'm gonna use something to get my health back up real fast. I've got oh, we gotta go to the aid menu. Hold on. 
First, we gotta find our aids. There it is. All right, so having found the aids, oh, uh, probably these are kind of irradiated. That sucks. Okay, so seeing as I don't want to be irradiated, maybe I'll just go with a Nuka Cola is also irradiated. Fantastic. Fine then, stim pack. We will go with a stim pack. Perfect. So what do I do about a death claw? <laughs> you better count on somebody else, pal. See how big that thing is? That thing is like a T-Rex mixed with a liquor, mixed with everything on Earth that likes to kill humans easily with very little effort. I sincerely doubt that we are getting out of here. So it wants me to go out this way. And what does it want me to do? <laughs> if it seriously wants me to kill a death claw, pfft, I give up. I quit. I think it seriously wants me to kill a death claw. I don't have any bullets left, though. This might not work out so great. Man, that guy's got all kinds of cool loot. Do I have a left arm? I think I have a left arm. Stim packs on this guy right here. He's got road leathers though, which are pretty badass. I think that counts as an undersuit. I'm trying to keep an eye on that thing. <laughs> you know it's gonna come at me any second. Maybe I can scare it off from the roof. I don't know. Let's go back up there. So I think they legitimately want me to kill this death claw. And had I known there was gonna be a goddamn death claw, I would have saved my minigun. Like, who expects there to be a death claw right in the beginning of the goddamn game? We have like five rounds left. I don't know if there's any more minigun ammunition anywhere. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say there's probably not. And so we're really, really, really gonna need this to count. So what I'm gonna do for right now... Where's my gun? What's going on right now? There it is. I was gonna say, my gun has not appeared anywhere. I don't know what we're going to do with this thing. Dog meat, come here. I don't think you're going to be useful versus a death claw. I really sincerely doubt that you are. Dog meat, come here. Upstairs. Actually, that might be a good way to do it. Just snipe from up here or something. See if I can get the little bastard to leave. Where is it? Dog meat, are you up here? The hell is dog meat? There he is. Dog meat, come here. Hey. Wait there. All right, so dog meat's staying. Now, where did this death claw go? It's over there on that side, isn't it? Is there anything I can walk on over here? No, there's nothing I can walk on. We're going to have to play this very, very carefully because, like an idiot, I used up all my minigun ammo having an orgy of violence on the roof. So... I don't think a death claw can fit inside of here. Hell yeah, something's out here. <laughs> okay, so I think we're safe in here. So now I just gotta whittle the little bastard down. Or the big bastard, I guess. Not a lot of minigun rounds left, so I'm probably not gonna recommend using those. You know you wanna come back around here. Oh, it does melee. Huh, you can melee if you don't have a grenade equipped. Look what I learned today. Oh, this is the worst plan ever. Back inside, back inside. Oh, shit. I don't like this. This is upsetting. This is really upsetting. I'm not going to come close enough for you to hit me, though. I know you're dreaming for it, but... God, that is a well-founded... People of Massachusetts, well done in the... Cr oh, shit, he came in. He's, he's almost... A no. Did I run out of bullets? What's going on with my ammo right now? What's my, uh, what's my ammo sitch looking like? What did this use? 308? Oh, it used 45. Okay. I got a couple of minigun rounds left, and by a couple of minigun rounds, I mean that my entire power armor HUD is gone, too. How weird is that? Why is my power armor HUD gone? Huh. Is he seriously trying to hide in the bushes right now? Sneak check failed! It's kind of weird without my HUD. What's going on here? I think my HUD bugged out. I don't know. 
Hold on, let me get in and out of my armor real fast because something weird has occurred. Out of the armor. Alright. Back into the armor. Hooray! Buggy Bethesda games! There we go, it came back. See, I knew it was... I was gonna say, it says I have zero out of zero ammo right now. I don't know if that's correct. Where you at, you big bastard? Come on. Ah, I'm trying to get him close so I can use the... Let's go with the pipe auto, I guess. Probably not the gun for this particular brand of violence, but... Oh my god. He's huge. And I think he thinks he can take a swipe at us, too. My god, he's thick. This guy is stacked. And he's making my life very, very difficult. Give me the minigun. Give me the minigun. Oh, shit. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. I think he's inside. I think he bugged inside. Oh, god. You better back off, Deathclaw. You don't know me like that. Run up in my neighborhood and terrorize me. Make me ruin a perfectly good pair of undies. Make me scream in a way that... very much disappoints my forefathers and my five fathers. That's the great-great-great-grandparents, for those of you that don't know. That's right, stick your head through that hole, you... <laughs> God. Stick your head through the hole, you jackass. That was ridiculous. That was absolutely cray-cray. They started on their strongest foot with this one. They were like, you know what we should do in the opening of the game? And somebody was like, what should we do in the opening of the game? He's like, we should have them fight a Deathclaw in power armor. So what's to keep me from just like running this power armor the entire game now? Hey, dog me, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey. All right, so Pennington Paisley has lost his family, but he found something that's just as good, his dog. Wait, inspect what? Oh. Grab anything useful. Oh, you can tell the dog to pick up stuff too? Oh, that's kind of badass. Over here. See if he had anything worth taking. So how do you get rid of his little aimer, though? So you've got his little aimer right there. Oh, okay, so you press tab to get rid of it. I probably won't leave him down here. It looks like actually the fusion core is what limits how much you can hang out. If you look at the bottom, there's a little fusion core right out. I think that's probably what's gonna... I think that's probably what's gonna keep us from doing more awesome, fun stuff. So let's jump out of the power armor real quick so that we're not totally wasting the juice in this bad boy. I don't know where we refuel it at, but I can only assume... That tracking down fusion cores is probably not going to be amazingly easy. Is it just me or does the game feel a little bit less open worldy though? Maybe it's just me, but the game doesn't feel, it feels a lot more streamlined. It feels a little bit more linear. We haven't gotten that far in, so I might be saying something stupid right now. Quit busting. <clears throat> that was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Feelings mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. Hell yeah. I didn't do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves, you know? You remind me of my friends, the other Minutemen, the ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been, because there's more to your destiny. I've seen it, 
Ellen, I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time, out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I'm listening. Look, kid, I know how I sound. The sight, it's weird. And it ain't always clear. But your son's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hold on, hold on. Worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then. Sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh. Okay, so apparently Crack Grandma had herself a vision, and so we're going to follow her all over the wasteland. She's wearing slippers right now. We are doing a cross-country walk, and she is rocking slippers. I don't know how I feel. This guy's got fold-over boots like a pirate. Where he found those in the apocalypse, I have no idea. Everybody else seems to have more reasonable footwear. You coming with us to Sanctuary? Yeah, I only have a choice, pal. My question is, how do I refuel this BZ over here? Like, I want to take... I want my power armor to last a long-ass time, and I want to fix the leg and everything on it. So let's say I move... It's got the fusion core with 23 charge on it. How do I recharge the fusion core? I assume that maybe I take it... Back to the little station over there. I'll take point. Stay close, everyone. All right, I'm gonna jump in the armor because I feel safer enclosed inside my little turtle shell here. Turtles in a giant suit. Hell yes, bladder. There we go. All right, so let's follow this dude. We've still got our gat. We've still got lots of things going for us. A leather right leg. I can't believe you keep walking in front of me while I'm looting. He's got a mining helmet. I don't remember exactly what I have here, but I know for a fact I want all of their stuff, so... I thought for a second that that said, like, Sack Hood with Moses, and I was like, oh, Lord, Lord, they got Moses involved. Once Moses gets involved, shit gets real. Firstborn start dying off. Got a bottle cap, a shotgun shell, a 38 round, some more road leathers right there. I think that counts as an under thing like the Long Johns do, but I'll have to look at it in just a second. For right now, we're up inside our armor, and it's about the best that I can do. If it runs out of power, I'll try and dump it somewhere, I don't know, somewhere reasonable. I wish I had more time to loot this location, though. Here's some of those dudes that got wiped out by the Death Claw. Lots of leather right legs, but no left legs. A pipe pistol. What the hell was that in there? Eh, whatever. Oh, there's a little manhole cover. We can go down into the ground right there. Hold on. I'm trying to hang out with you guys right now. I'm trying to be friends. I want to be part of a civilization and society. And you five are the first that I've met so far. I mean, she has a clear drug problem. You can check her into rehab or something because she keeps talking about beetle bugs and fairies and the queen and all kinds of shit, but who even knows anymore? So no conversation while we walk? I'm guessing you're not like a whistle while you work type of group. Hint, hint, I am a whistle while you work type of person. Well... Can't say I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. 
Well, I mean, I was back when it was super awesome here, and when you could get a decent cable connection. Don't worry, Jim. Just stay with me. It'll be fine. Right. O okay. If we get really lucky, they might walk back past that place over there. And if they do that, we might be able to recharge this bitch. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys the animations. It looks a lot cleaner. I mean, it still looks a little janky. But at least they made the power armor big like it was in the first games. Because I distinctly remember in the first games, power armor was a thing that you climbed up inside of. Like a mech, and then you took off from there. Huh, it can't run and shoot at the same time. I learned a thing today. So where's this sanctuary you guys are pushing for? I know there's a machine thing in here, so let's take this into the bay real fast. And if I... Do I just take, like, everything from the T or whatever down here? Go down faster. I demand... I have so much loot right now. I told you guys I was a pack rat. I'm a big-time pack rat. So we've got all of that stuff. Huh. You know, I might just leave it right here, and then I'll fiddle with it in a bit. There we go. Awesome. For right now, I think we're just about out of time in this episode. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Fallout 4. I will see you all in future episodes. I'm going to keep this one pumping out as fast as I can because I really like the game, and I just want to play it. I will see you all later. I do, everybody.